Hi guys, welcome back to the PC Repair Guru channel. Today we're going to show you guys how to install CC Cleaner on Windows 10. That's right, CC Cleaner on Windows 10. Just recently the Windows 10 just came out on the 29th July of 2015. And I'm going to show you guys how to install the, the program. If you have any problems with the program or if there's any related you know, issues, regarding the windows 10 and cc cleaner do comment below leave a comment and i will try to get back to you and here it goes okay google cc cleaner for windows 10 cd okay it's quite cc cleaner okay google cc cleaner for windows 10 i don't i just love using this you know technology where basically uh, you can talk and he actually does it for you, you know, but still getting used to it. Okay. Yeah, as you can see, uh, you know, he actually is telling you that it's uh, compatible for Windows 10. That's a 64 bit or the 32 bit. Okay. And uh, to start the download, just click the start button. Button and for a few seconds, it will just start to download. And he has already downloaded. Okay. Allow. The installation is quite straightforward, but uh, to be honest with you, to my knowledge, I tend to tick these off because uh, I don't personally like uh, to have it updated because I know that it qualifies qualifies in uh, like uh, sorting the problems. So I normally take tick that off as well. It's only when I do it manually that I want to update it's easy cleaner. Same with these two as well, doesn't really matter. Same with that one, just leaving the desktop one, one okay. And just to check the, yeah, with the advanced mode, you, can, you might want to install it with the, anyone that's on the computer, it's uh, your choice. Or you can just make it so that it's only installed on your profile for Windows when you're signing in or on the Windows, okay. So, anyways, next, next, okay. Okay. And there you have it. CC, clean, CC Cleaner installed on Windows 10. It actually gives you the information regarding your system there. And it's all good to go basically. Everything is done and dusted for you. And basically you just want to analyze and just quickly just check. Keep in mind you might want to close both of them but I'm not going to close them. Because I've got some important things, and as you can see, I can actually save 109 meg if I remove some deleted um, temp files, basically. So there you have it. Um, another cool feature I like the idea of for CC Cleaner is uh, the start menu, where you can actually, you know, organize the start menu. At the same time, you can organize it with the Windows its own built-in. It's basically I like the windows where they have buffed the uh, built-in start menu for this so basically it actually tells you exactly um, which ones exactly that has the most impact how long it takes from BIOS to the windows it takes for me it takes about 30, 10 seconds just to get to the windows itself and uh, well that is quite fast because I do have an SSD hard drive that has the operating system on it so to okay and I'm just quickly just checking to see which ones that gives me the own you see the thing is I don't really need this one so as you can see you don't really need this one it's only when you're playing games you might want to adjust some settings in it but I don't really recall that Java you might want to keep that on uh, and the firewall I'll just keep that on and uh, C4 speed that's another like a download and uh, upload software basically you can monitor basically this way is it's an icon it shows you download upload speed it's quite handy I will talk about this at the later stage okay and there you have it guys it's the same thing what's on here basically same thing what's on here but I think the windows actually you know smashes it because you know it actually, it actually gives you the information regarding how much improvement you can have so from high to medium to low so quite neat okay and also obviously you can also install programs 
Okay. Do have only a few programs on it. Just recently installed the Windows 10 on it. Uh, registry, you don't want to mess around with the registry. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, you don't want to just leave it as is. Unless you have problems, then you can, you know, tweak a little. Um, that's about it. To be honest with you, everything's just set up and ready for you. And uh, it's up to you, your choice, if you want to save passwords on uh, Firefox browser or Google browser or in Internet Edge, basically. That's another name for Internet Explorer. They actually come up with Microsoft Edge, it's called now. Okay, um, and that's about it. Thank you for watching, subscribe and like the video guys and do share the video and do comment below regarding the program if you have any problems. Thank you for watching.